So I'm really mad because I just literally spent probably like 20 or so minutes answering every question and go to my voice recorder and find out none of it recorded. Heyo. So I have to try and figure out what the heck I was saying and I've rambled so much. Anyway, we're going to start with this double question because it is um, three people ask the same question, but I put the other one as a separate question because they asked two questions. But uh, three people ask the same question, which is, what do you believe inspired you um, to get into art? What inspired you to do art, etc., etc.? So what inspired me to do art is what a lot of people these days get inspired to do art by, which is, uh, you know, animation. So anime, for me it was anime and manga. For some people it's like Cartoon Network animation. For other people it's Adult Swim animation, stuff like that. Um, so I saw my first anime, which was Fruits Basket, from what I can remember. Like that's the earliest anime I can think of. And... I read the manga all the way through and then I got really into manga for a while and of course being a lowly sixth grader I thought well hey I could probably copy this if I tried hard enough so yeah that was my life until about eighth grade when I started getting serious about art uh, next question how did you find out how did find out about Steven Universe <laughs> sorry toxic unicorn um, how did you find out about Siri Siri ah, Steven Universe Toxic Unicorn on YouTube says, um, I found out about Steven Universe by an old friend who is not a friend anymore, well, not technically a friend, I guess, um, but yeah, she notified me of it, of its existence, but on Tumblr, I kept seeing people draw stuff of it, and spoilers and spoilers upon spoilers, so sometime last year, I just sat down and watched the whole series, and now I've been keeping up with the episodes and whatnot because before I didn't really watch TV. I mean, I still don't watch TV, but yeah. Next question Melody Lee on YouTube. She actually asked this twice. I don't know if it like double posted or what, but when did you start art? I started art about four or five years ago. Um, well, I started art <laughs> when I was like a really young kid. Like most kids, I drew, I like to draw. Uh, but I didn't get serious about it until about four, four years ago. What do you find easier to do, traditional art or digital art? Fantastical Cake on YouTube says. Um, I find, right now I find digital art easier because I've been doing it every day. But usually it's about equal. Because I'll do an equal amount of each. Like right now I can't even draw a stick figure in traditional art without feeling like like I I just it's real bad it's it's real bad guys mm. next question TV Panda on Doodler asks if you could be any Pokemon from first gen what would it be and why I would be either Squirtle or Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur is really cute and Squirtle is really cute and I really love their color palettes and um I don't know they're like they're like really simple, kind of a sweet Pokemon if that makes any sense. Do you like Taco Bell or Chipotle? I've never had Chipotle, so I'm gonna have to go with Taco Bell. Uh, or Pashi on Doodler, sorry. At Small Flint on Doodler says, I'm sorry, I just asked this to everyone, but what's your favorite plant if you have one? I really like succulents and aquatic plants. Um, so, something like, I don't know, maybe seaweed or... You know those like uh, sea anemones? I like those, but those don't really count as plants, huh? Uh, my favorite plant, plant, though, that I would like to get someday is maybe a marimo. It's like, it's kind of like a ball of moss, but it's it's like it, they need affection to live, and that is just it's adorable. I love it, and I want one because they're they just like they just look like a ball of moss. But if you don't love them, they die. And that's just, it's really cute, okay? It's cute, okay? Shut up. Alright, next question. At Tara Jolie on Doodler asks, Who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber, my stock answer for this is Markiplier, but my real answer is I don't have one because I watch YouTube for so many different reasons. 
and all the people I love for different, all the people I watch, I like for different reasons, so. Next question. All right, getting into the Tumblr questions. Do you have any art-related plans for the future? If you haven't already, going to art school, starting any kind of project, etc. I plan on, I don't plan on going to art school anytime soon. Uh, I am going to school for an art-related thing. I'm going to be majoring in, um, in visual de visual design, I think it's called the major. I'm not sure, but I think I think I'm majoring in visual design. <laughs> I, I really I'm really not sure, but yeah, that. Um, I don't plan on going to art school anytime soon because I think that at this point in time it would just be not a good use of my money. Then starting any kind of projects, yes, I would love to. I have a couple of web comics. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. I have a couple of web comics in the works, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to create a video game at some point in the future. Um, an RP, a little simple RPG maker game. I think that would be cool. But uh, yeah, next question. Anonymous on Tumblr. Do you have any OCs? Do tell. I have a ton of OCs. Um, too many, in fact. A lot of them are from middle school. Um, I don't really, like I draw a lot of separate people, but I don't really take most of them in as OCs, unless I really like their design. Like um, I drew this pink haired girl and this red haired girl earlier, whom I haven't named, but I consider them OCs. Then I have um, OCs that I draw relatively frequently, like Everett. I've drawn him like three or four times now. Um, and then my persona characters, I have Renee, which is my persona character's sister. Um, I have Karen, who's my vampire OC. Uh, Everett, who I talked about earlier, he's a freaking, he's a freaking monster. Um, <clears throat> I have Damien, who's a, like a bunny human hybrid. Um, I have Dana Henderson and her brother whose name is escaping me. Uh, I have their butler. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm really bad at remembering characters because it's like, I'll draw them and then never draw them again. Or I'll write about them and then never draw them ever and totally forget about them. So I have, I probably have OCs floating around out the wazoo, but yeah. Those are the ones I can do. Oh. I have three gym sonas. I have Dippier or Scalpelite, Blue Topaz, and Verdelite, or um, Green Tourmaline, which is their fusion. Dippiers and Topazes. Next question Do you have any art related? I just answered this. Have you ever had any art classes before or any kind of mentoring? I. Have you ever had any art classes or any kind of mentoring? Um, technically, I have had art classes, but they're not like any like any, they're not in, they weren't anything special or professional. I didn't really learn much um, in terms of <clears throat> furthering my own art progression. Um, I took art one in um, in sophomore year, which was it was horrible. I hated it. The teacher was way, way strict for an art class, but, um, and then of course, you know, when you're in primary school and they have, um, the little kind of like baby electives, I t we took art there, but of course that's not a serious art class either, so I don't know, I wouldn't count that. I've never had anything else, any art classes outside of school, and no, I've never had a mentor either, not like a one-on-one -on -one type mentor, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I do have people that I look up to who I would consider mentors to a degree, but I don't really know any of them in real life, so I don't know. Maybe that doesn't count. Um, next question. Another anonymous person on Tumblr says, would you want to do art full-time, or is it more of a hobby you can benefit from? Uh... I would like to do art full time, full, full time, but at this at this t 
time. I don't think art would be able to sustain me like on its own because I'm not what I would consider popular enough for art to actually like be able to sustain me. Um, but yes, I would like to do art full time. But I guess at this point, it would probably be more of a hobby than anything. Next question. Another anonymous question from Tumblr. What inspired you to start drawing? What is your favorite thing to draw? So, um, I already answered the what inspired me to start drawing, but my favorite thing to draw, um, I guess faces in general and like feminine faces in particular, if that makes sense. Um, I also, I, I would, if I was good at hands, I know I'd really like drawing hands too, but because I'm not good at hands, I don't like drawing hands. And I know it, basically anything that I'm good at drawing is what I like to draw because I, I like to stick to my comfort zone. I don't like pushing boundaries, which is really bad for when you want to improve because I do want to improve, but it's, it's really hard to improve when you're comfortable where you are in your art. Does that make sense? But uh, yeah, next question. How long have you been doing art? I think I answered this already. Uh, in the inspired question. Uh, I've been doing art seriously for about four or five years, but I've been doing art all my life, technically. Uh, next question. <sighs> what would you be doing if you weren't an artist? I would... <sighs> <clears throat> Sorry. Back, back before I was um, serious about art, I was... Uh, everybody used to call me the smart kid and not to say that I'm dumb or anything like I'm still top 10% of my class or whatever um, but everybody used to call me the really smart kid and they would always say oh you're gonna be the valedictorian someday oh you're so talented you have so many talents because when I was a kid I was a cheerleader and I would do gymnastics and I was a cheerleader and I could sing and I was smart and all that jazz so, I don't know, I had so many, you know, when you're a kid, it feels like the world is your oyster. Like, you have so many paths that you can run down and end up in a good place. But now I only have, like, one, which is basically just art because I can't really do anything else. Like, I don't, I don't have any of those talents anymore. Um, but if I wasn't an artist, I would probably be, I would either be a... YouTube, a YouTuber, probably like a vlogger or something, or, uh, I know this is kind of like a, like a big jump from YouTuber, but I would probably be a neuro, a neuroscientist, or a neurologist, or some type of engineer, <clears throat> because those kind, those fields kind of converge with two other things that I really love, which is math and science, but the math and science they teach us in school is really stupid and just unnecessary so but uh yeah next question so i completely forgot to answer one of the questions and if it's if there's an echo it's because i'm in the bathroom recording because everyone in my house is being loud so um fantastical cake on instagram this one is from instagram <laughs> the one question I got on Instagram. Um, Cake asks, are you more comfortable drawing males or females? And I'd say I, I'm more, I'm like, I'm equally comfortable drawing either. Like, I don't have a problem drawing either, but I prefer to draw females just because I like drawing curves. And women, when you draw a woman, it's easier to draw because they have curves, which are very natural. But if you draw a guy with curves, they look more feminine. Well, a male with curves, they tend to look more feminine, which isn't a bad thing, but if you want them to look male, then you should use like harder edges and straight lines. And I don't really like drawing a lot of straight lines. 
but I'm comfortable drawing both. Like, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, yeah. sorry for interrupting. Back to the regularly scheduled programming, I guess. Oh, I guess that was the last question. Um, okay. So thank you to everyone who sent in their questions, even you anonymous people. I don't know if you'll actually see this or not, but thank you anyway. Um, especially the people on Doodler. You guys, I, I'm honestly like really astounded by the amount of questions I got. I think this was about 17 questions or so. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who asked me a question. You don't, you don't know how much it means to me to know that across all these platforms where I only have like, like 25 followers or something in some of these places, like you people, you guys like actually care about me as a person. Like it's really, it's really heartwarming to say the least, uh, but um, this video is probably running pretty long. So thank you to everyone for watching. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more content. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.